What's happening, boys? So we are back out at RBN. I'm out here with Mike, and we're gonna play nine holes with uh, a couple kids from the golf team. And it's a beautiful day in San Diego. I haven't played out here recently, so it's gonna be interesting to see how the greens are rolling. But usually they're in pretty good shape out here. There's the myth, the man, the legend. So we're gonna do another, today's gonna be round two of the lefties versus righties. And uh, I don't know if you guys remember the video from last time, but Spencer and I lost on the, I think it was the last hole actually that we lost. It sure was. So we had to do 20 push-ups. So we're gonna try to make sure we don't repeat that this time around and uh, take Coach down. Coach has been playing good though, so let's be a little careful. We're gonna see some 350 yard drives today again. <laughs> My back's hurting a little bit from the other day, so we'll see. I'm gonna take it easy though a little bit today. So you'll be just out driving me by about 10 this time? Yeah, I think it'll be 10. <laughs> Sounds about right. Sounds like that. <laughs> Spencer, can you uh, tell us something about yourself? Um, I'm left handed. I'm a junior at Don Arty High School, and I have a twin. That's a fun fact. <laughs> Um, and they call me the best. Ooh, okay. okay. <laughs> Strong. I like it. All right, guys. So here's the first hole, 333 yards, playing uh, straight into the wind. You can see there's a wash that runs right through where that bridge is. It's about 200 and what, 40 yards out? Yeah. A 240 out, and then some bunkers on the right. But pretty straightforward hole. Should be pretty easy. Some water out there, but it really shouldn't be in play unless uh, you miss it pretty badly. Guys, just so you know, we're gonna announce the winner of the golf balls a little bit later in this video, so make sure you stick around. And if you enjoy these videos, uh, let us know by hitting a thumbs up and uh, sharing the video, helping support the high school program. All right, so Mike mixed his drive over here into the trees, but he got lucky, he's got a little opening here. He's still got tree trouble all the way up there, so he can't go super high, but you can try to thread that needle. How are you gonna play this? I think I'm gonna play it right through that, that opening up top right over the trees and uh, hopefully it lands soft. What happened there? <laughs> I hit it awesome and it landed on a sprinkler head. I think it might have gone out of bounds. On the three and the pin is right there, guys. So I'm right there, just a little bit off the green. And uh, we got Spencer over here in the bunker. There's Spencer's lie. Could be worse. I think yeah. you'll be able to get that out at least towards the hole. Oh. A little long. Almost out of bounds, but not quite. Got lucky. Hit a sprinkler hat and it just bounced straight, straight forward. It's a little thinny. Upload there, kind of a bad start for everyone. Mike and I pushed it with uh, a couple bogeys. I didn't have a three putt though, because the first putt was off the green, so still no three putts. <laughs> Can't count that. All right, guys, so this is uh, part three 163 yards playing downhill downwind. It's a red flag today, so you can see it's uh, right in front, so should be a pretty easy hole. I say that now, but we'll see how we end up. All right, so I went just a tiny bit short. I was headed right out the pin, but didn't have the legs. And then uh, Spencer missed it to the left of the green over there. Kyle missed it to the right of the green, and Mike's in the bunker, so. Not very good shots on this pretty easy hole.
we got a par five here playing 497 yards. It's a dog leg to the right. There's some trees right there on the right that would definitely come into play if, uh, and if you're not playing a draw. If you play a cut, you can definitely hit it into those off for a lefty. And uh, yeah, a lot of trees on this hole, but it's pretty straightforward. All right guys, I got 260 yards left. I did not hit a very good drive there at all, but um, in the fairway, so here's what Mike's instructing me to do. Seven iron. Seven iron. David Tom's it. David Tom's it. And uh, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. How good was it? Perfect, that was like that straight. What do you have left? I got 195, so I think I hit that like 295. Yeah, what a great drive. How are you gonna play it? What side is the mud on and what's it gonna do? So the mud is over on this side of the golf ball, so that means it's gonna go to the right. I'm gonna aim a little bit more towards the left because it's gonna go to the right. Wow, that went a lot right. It started on a good line and then just shot off. You're fine, I mean, it's up there next to the green. So both of the guys missed uh, missed it over here to the, to the right. All right, so Spencer hit his out, so he took a drop. Or actually, was in the hazard, he took a drop. And Kyle's was on the cart path, so he got relief from the cart path and uh, just missed the fairway to the left of his layup. All right, so I got 112 yards. I'm gonna hit a 52 degree gap wedge. I'm gonna side hill, so I'm gonna just aim a little bit left and let the slope do its thing. Good Thanks. shot. Well done. <laughs> I hit a great shot in there. Mike was just saying, I should have never given you the seven iron. I got David Toms. So both Spencer and I hit some good shots in here. There's mine and then there's Spencer, not too far away. Mike went just a little bit long and right and uh, see what he can do from over here. Mm, nice action. Good four. All right, a couple birdies there, Mike and I, to keep us one up. All right guys, this is a part three, playing 190 yards. And uh, you can see the pin, it's just tucked in the back right over the bunker, uh, the back right bunker. So, pretty good ways to go. And there's not a lot of room over the screen. Once you, if you go over, there's it just looks like it's cut right on the back, back edge of it. We're gonna announce the winner of uh, TP5s from the last series of videos. Nicholas Lapham, my friend, you are the winner. Uh, also, good luck in your state championship that, um, that you're going to. Hit them straight and I uh, hope you do well out there. We're gonna do another giveaway in this video. So all you have to do is hit the like button, leave a comment down below and uh, you'll be entered to win and we'll announce it in the upcoming video. They all missed the green over here to the, to the right side. You got Spencer over there. Kyle's right there and then Mike's a little bit long and, and right. And I hit a great shot in here. I got a nice bounce uh, kind of forward and towards the pin so you can see it right there. He's got a chance. We are up two now with a par on that hole. Par four, playing slightly uphill. And this one's playing 366 yards. You got bunkers on both sides, left and right. Both are reachable. Um, but yeah, it's pretty a little a slight dog leg to the right, but overall pretty easy hole as long as you keep it out of the trees. Yeah. 
All right, so I hit a really bad drive there. Just kind of like duck hooked one to the right, but luckily there's a bunch of room over here. So I got 156 yards of the pin and I got a big old tree right in front of me, so. Which way are you going? I think I'm gonna go straight out towards the fairway over there and just hit like a little uh, knockdown six iron. Something like right. Like a half swing and just try to get it back in the fairway. There. Make part of the old fashioned way. This boy's golf management is improving. What I'm learning guys is that the things that used to kill my rounds were balls out of bounds and just making stupid decisions on shots like this, like trying to go over that tree, hitting it down, and then easily making a double or triple. But now I'm gonna make a par, hopefully bogey at worst. And that's that's literally all I want, bogey at worst. I can recover from bogey. What iron are you hitting? I'm hitting a six. I'm gonna just hit literally like a little half swing, keep it low and just get it, get it out there. Oh, so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Mike and Kyle both missed over here in the trees as well, but they're just way up further. And Spencer is back there in the fairway, so we'll see how he does. We got 99. 99, all right. I'm gonna try and just Ooh. run it up there on the left side and hopefully it gets close to the green. It's rolling. Oh, just got caught up a little bit. So that's what I was talking about on this hole, guys. It's uh, you get into the trees and you just never know. You don't know what kind of light you're gonna have and I'll just pay the price right there and try to get a little cute with it. All right, so there's Mike. He's got probably about a little 25 yarder. Three up now, thanks to this fine My young man. My first par. And what a time it came. What a time. Yeah. I feel like I've been saying this a lot lately, but the wind is starting to pick up again. All right, so this hole's 366 yards, par four, dog leg right. Uh, again, you can see bunkers right there, and just left of those is the car path and out of bounds. And then to the right, there's a little tree that kind of overhangs uh, over the fairway. And if you get too close to that tree, you kind of have a tough shot in it um, because it can be in our line. So. Left center of the fairway is perfect. So hit a good drive here, both Spencer and I, he's right there to the right and I'm on the left and then uh, <laughs> Mike Pumpta is down there. So he's like another 35 yards in front of us. But it's all right, got 106 yards here and it's playing a little bit downwind. You can see the white pin right there. I'm gonna hit a sandwich. Fairways and greens. Just try to keep it simple. I'm trying to play boring golf, you know? Before I was always like, let's try to take high risk, go straight out the pin all the time, and now it's like, just keep it in play, don't lose balls, try not to make nothing, anything worse than a bogey, and trying to minimize the three putts, and yeah. it's amazing how much, much better the scores are. My handicap's now 5.7. Got the update yesterday morning from Jim. Trending. Kyle's right there in the trees, in case you guys can't see him. Hit a low puncher, hit some trees. Great shot, dude. He is on the green. 81, a little downhill, downwind, just a little knockdown, 60. All right, so we all hit the green at regulation here, which is nice. Mike stuck it right there. You guys can see it's pretty tight. Staying alive. Oh, bogeys and birdies. Just trying to hang in there today. All right, so this hole's pretty tough. It's uh, playing into the wind right now, and it's 444 yards, even from the blue tees that we're playing out today. 
Dog leg to the left, you can see a bunker on the left hand side. That bunker's not really in play for us, but the one on the right, it definitely is. There's a, like two or three bunkers down there. So you basically want to go at the far right, at the third bunker right there, and then uh, draw or cut, depending on uh, what hand you are. So Mike missed his over here to the right, but he's got kind of an opening. He's gonna, he just said he's gonna pump a rescue through everything. <laughs> uh, let's see how this works out, folks. Oh, big old draw. How did it end up? Oh, I don't know, it looked pretty it good. It looked though. good. I nuked it. You just played, how, how much did that ball draw? Probably 40 yards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I pured it. I got up with the same yardage as Spencer. I shot it in the 197, but I'm gonna hit a four iron because I'm an old man and I'm gonna take a smooth <laughs> swing. <laughs> Just like a seasoned veteran. Mm. All right, so I think that's Kyle who went a little bit long. He pured his. There's two balls in the green. There's one right here on the left. I think that's Spencer. And then I think I'm right over there. So Mike had a great rescue from down there and he was just a little bit short, but from where he was at, that was a phenomenal shot. That was a big putt. That was a big putt. So we got two left. And we're still two up. So they're dormy, but they, you know, they haven't lost yet. All right, guys. This hole is 477 yards, par five, and it's just straight down the hill. Greens all the way up there. Bunch of bunkers along the way. The one on the left is uh, definitely in play, but if you miss to the right, there's a lot of room over there. Just might have some tree trouble. There's my ball on the cart path. Uh, just kind of flailed it out here to the left, but got lucky, stayed in balance. And uh, yeah, we're gonna lay this one up. I'm gonna just go ahead and aim this at those bunkers up there and just hit like a little, a little punch six iron and try to cut it around it, around this tree and lay it up to a nice little wedge. Oh, so good. Oh yeah, this is my caddy. He's a, he's a bit camera shy, but yep. yeah, I, I'm gonna just hit a five wood up there. Oh, it looks so good. It's going right at it, guys. He's posing. A little short, but that's all right. Always playing for the high cut. A little short. Yeah. All right, good layup. You going over this tree or under it? Let's I'm play go here. Around it. You're going to go around it, all right? I'm going to take a, a four iron. Uh, I'm going to try and draw it at that right side bunker and uh, swoop it into the flag. <laughs> All right, so he's gonna take it up the right side bunker up there, swoop it around. Started it at the middle of the right side, green side bunker. It's drying and it's on the green. Great shot. What is that, like 35 holes without a three putt? Yeah. I thought I was gonna three putt that one to be honest with you, but. Good par. That's what's still working. All right, so we won two up with one to play. So congratulations. congratulations. Thank you. 
These guys will be doing some push-ups after this hole and we're gonna finish it up right now with this easy par four. This one's 290 yards and there is water up there. It's about 250 yards up, but it's, the hole's pretty much straight ahead. And uh, yeah, just wanna lay it up and hit a little wedge in. Boy is playing steady today. I'm just taking smooth swings, dude. I'm not trying to hit it hard or far. I don't care if I'm the shortest driving guy out here. I'm trying to avoid losing golf balls. So Mike and I laid up over here like a couple veterans in the fairway with the good angle in. What do you got left here? Got 102 into the wind, a little bit uphill, probably playing like 107. Gonna hit the gap wedge. All right, so Spencer hit his driver on this hole. Didn't quite get it to the green, and uh, Mike told him that if he misses the fairway or goes in the water, he's gonna have to walk back and get another one. Congratulations to Marco and Spencer. They finally got one. Yeah, good job out there, man. It was a little tough day with the driver, but sorry, we had a good time. And uh, nice one over, Mr. Nicolai. Thank you. It was good. How are you boys doing back there? Great playing with you. Not yeah. pleasure. Good job, guys. Uh, good job. Oh, that was so much fun. Thanks for coming out, Marco. That was a pleasure. Spencer, good job today. Marco with a little one over, came in uh, really uh, confident from the last couple days and another nine holes without a three putt, so good job Marco. Thank you. All right guys, tune in, smash that thumbs up and uh, subscribe. Make sure you check out our Facebook and Twitter account, thanks. <laughs>